Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 14, 1 Samuel 21 through to 2 Samuel chapter 15, From the Showbread to Absalom. In 1 Samuel 21, why was David eating the holy bread not a sin? What did Jesus say about it in Mark 2, 24-26? Why did David pretend to be insane in Gath? In 1 Samuel 22, what events in our lives have been like the cave at Adullam or the forest of Hereth? What was Saul's mental state? Have we experienced similar opposition that seemed crazy or unreasonable? Have we experienced people destroying a promotion or a business? Are there examples of verbal murder or slander used in politics today? In 1 Samuel 23, what did David do rather than act presumptuously? What did he do when he heard that Saul was going to trap him? What happened in the forests of Ziph? In 1 Samuel 24, what happened in the cave of En Gedi that shows how David behaved towards a bad leader? Is character assassination similar to real assassination? What pact did David make with Saul? In 1 Samuel 25, Samuel died. How was Nabal's wife Abigail wiser than he? Nabal means fool. In 1 Samuel 26, what was David's response to the temptation to kill Saul? Is this a lesson for us? In 1 Samuel 27, how did David acquire Ziklag as a gift from the Philistines? How did David get the reputation of being a bloody man? In 1 Samuel 28, why did Saul consult a medium rather than God? What happened? In 1 Samuel 29, why did the Philistines reject David's help? In 1 Samuel 30, what happened in Ziklag? How did David decide to fight? What did David do for the weary soldiers? How was he generous with the spoils? In 1 Samuel 31, how did Jonathan and Saul die? In 2 Samuel 1, how important was loyalty to Saul for David? What does this say about those who assassinate the character of leaders? What does it say about David's character that he wrote a song praising Saul? In 2 Samuel 2, how were Israel and Judah divided? In 2 Samuel 3, how did the situation with Abner reveal David's loyalty? In 2 Samuel 4, why did David execute the men who murdered Saul's son Ishbosheth? In 2 Samuel 5, where did all the tribes of Israel covenant with David to be their king? How did Jerusalem become capital of Israel? What did David do before fighting the Philistines? In 2 Samuel 6, why was David angry with God? What happened to Michal for criticizing David's dancing? Is dancing a sin? In 2 Samuel 7, what was God's response to David's desire to build a temple? In 2 Samuel 8, how did David solidify his reign over Israel? In 2 Samuel 9, how was David kind to Jonathan's handicapped son, Mephibosheth? In 2 Samuel 10, what did Ammon do to humiliate David's diplomats? In 2 Samuel 11, what did David do with Bathsheba and her husband Uriah? In 2 Samuel 12, how did Nathan the prophet convict David of his sin? In 2 Samuel 13, what did Amnon do with his half-sister Tamar? What did Absalom do with Amnon? What did he then do? In 2 Samuel 14, did Absalom eventually return to Jerusalem? Did he completely reconcile with David his father? In 2 Samuel 15, how did Absalom conspire against David? Well, that's it for this week. Until next week, God bless you.